Hello everyone, in this video we're going to see which is the best DSA course on YouTube. So recently I've been getting a lot of questions asking me which is the best DSA course on YouTube and people are asking me things like which course they should take, whether they should take Love Abbas course, whether they should take Apna College course, whether they should take Strivers course and a lot of people are confused like this and they're asking me a lot of questions like that like very much recently. So what I decided to do and what I have here is I have these courses, Love Abba, Anuj Bhaiya, TQ Forward, Kunal Kushwaha, Apna College Code with Harry. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a comparison between these courses. So these were six of the most requested courses that people wanted to know about. So I'll be making a comparison between all of these courses. I'll be telling you everything in details. And then the final verdict lies with you. So at the end of the video, you can decide for yourself which is the course that you want, which is the course that would be best suited for you. And I'm going to tell you everything about each of the courses, the advantages, the disadvantages, etc. in details. Okay. And the thing is that all of the courses are very different from one another. That's why you have to be the one to decide which one you should take. But I am going to tell you everything about each of the course. So let's start with Love Abba's Code Help. So Love Abba's Code Help series and his C++ placement preparation series that he has is uh, here. Yeah. So Love Abba has a series complete C++ placement DSA course and one great thing about this course is that it starts from the very very beginning. So this teaches you intro to programming and it even teaches you programming via flowchart. So if you are someone who is a complete beginner, so let me write this down. So if you are someone who is a complete beginner, then you can definitely take this course. It's completely beginner friendly. It starts from the very very scratch. So that is something that I really like. So it starts from all the way from programming, flowchart, to writing your first program in C, L, F, L, and everything. And then it covers pretty much every important topic that is there. So it is also complete. So let me write that. The course is also complete. And also the course is in C++ like I mentioned. Now, coming to the disadvantage, one disadvantage that I found of this course is that it only covers most of the classical problems. And it doesn't cover a lot of problems. Okay. So I feel like they could have covered more problems for explaining the concepts, but they don't have a lot of problems. So let me write not much variety in problems. Okay. So they don't have a lot of variety in problems. They could have covered more problems according to me for explaining topics like graph, dynamic programming, etc. So Love Bubba C++ course is something that you can definitely take and it is very much beginner friendly, but like I said, it doesn't have a lot of problems. So if you take this course, then do know that you're going to have to solve a lot of problems by your own to make sure that you understand everything to the details, to the T. So this course you can definitely take. There's no issues. It is complete. It is beginner friendly. And it, the disadvantage is that it doesn't have a lot of variety of problems. Okay. Coming to Anuj Bhaiya's course. So Anuj Bhaiya's course is in Java, right? So this course is in Java, DSA 1. So this course is also complete, right? So he has said that the course is complete. Like I remember seeing the last video that it only took 1.5 years or something to complete the course. I think he ha yeah. So this is the last final video. So he has covered everything in 100 lectures. So that's the benefit that the course is complete. Let's get to the disadvantages. But the advantage is that it's complete. Now the disadvantage is that he has covered everything in only 100 lectures. Okay. So. If you're learning everything that there is in DSA, I really don't think that you can cover it in 100 lectures, okay? Like, unless you're doing everything very briefly. So the course is not very vast. That's one disadvantage. So let me write that it's not very vast. The course is not very vast. He has tried to cover everything in 100 videos. And if I compare that to Striver, right? So Striver already have 57 videos for dynamic programming only. So Striver has 57 videos just for dynamic programming while Anuj Bhaiya has completed the entire DSA course in just 100 videos. So that is one thing that the course is not very vast. And then another disadvantage is that it only covers classical problems. So let me write classical problems only. So as far as I could see, he has only covered the classical problems like reversing list or for, for dynamic programming, like for example, for dynamic programming, he has only explained the classical problems like knapsack, longest common subsequence, LIS, etc. He hasn't covered like the problems that are not classical. You know, so he has only covered most of the classical problems. These are two of the disadvantages. But yeah, if you're learning Java, 
then you can definitely consider taking his course but do remember that it's not very vast so you might have to look into some other resource while learning and again you'll have to solve a lot more problems by your own okay but that is there for all of the courses like what i would suggest no matter what course you take at the end do work hard on your own and do solve a lot of problems on your own but i'll get into that later so on the bhaiya's course again it's in java the advantage is that it's complete you don't have to wait for any more video and the disadvantage is it's not very vast and it only has classical problems only now coming to take you forward okay so take you forward has series wise so i don't think he has just one course but he has series like dynamic programming playlist recursion playlist graph series etc etc and take you forward has really great quality of content okay so love abba anuj bhai also have good quality of content but take you forward has great quality of content so i watched all of these courses videos but take you forward is something that i've been looking into that i've been watching ever since from my college days so striver has really really great content his way of teaching is very great he explains everything very very beautifully and the concepts are explained in a very nice manner but uh, like a disadvantage of this is that it's not very much beginner friendly so not completely beginner friendly so you do need to have a little bit basic understanding of dsa just a little bit basic understanding of dsa to take take you forward course so it's not completely beginner friendly this is like one and the only disadvantage that i could find of this course other than that it's like beautifully explained so let me write this beautifully explained pretty much the best content that you can get out there for free and great quality especially for dynamic programming and graph and freeze so these are topics which are very difficult right like graph series dp recursion but he has explained everything in a very very beautiful manner and he has not covered just the classical problems but he has covered a lot more problems than that so in his in all of his series you'll see that he has covered a lot of problems for example dynamic programming playlist you can see that he has covered so many problems for you to understand the topic and he is not limited to c++ that's also a advantage that he covers tries to cover c++ and java so this is a really really great course and you can definitely take this especially if you want to learn advanced topics like dynamic programming recursion trees graphs etc this is one course that you can definitely take and the only disadvantage the only disadvantage that i could find is that it is not completely beginner friendly so this course this is one course that you can definitely consider buying it's an awesome course for you pretty much the best quality that you can get for free so after striver we have kunal kushwaha and kunal kushwaha also has a course so he has a dsa course in java so let me write java here and kunal kushwaha right so kunal kushwaha is someone that i'm not really fond of and i don't agree with a lot of thing that kunal kushwaha says but i do respect him for his skills and he has some really great teaching skills so the quality of his videos and the quality of his content is really commendable and his teaching skills are almost on par with striver so it's almost on par with striver the quality of the content that he produces so the course is pretty great great especially if you're learning with java but there's one huge disadvantage of this course and that is that it's not at all complete so this course is not at all complete it doesn't cover any of the advanced topics and uh, i don't think the course will be completed either because the last video was around 1 year ago and i don't think he is in the mood to complete this course so the course is not at all complete and you will be and you'll end up waiting for more content which will which might never come so this is one huge disadvantage of taking the course but it is still very good resource it's still a very good resource for learning things like java and uh, recursion binary search sorting algorithms etc these are things that you can learn from his course but the course is not complete not at all complete and you cannot rely on this course for everything so you can learn certain things from his course but you cannot learn it for the entirety of your dsa preparation so if you're learning java you can follow some of his videos to expl- to understand things more better but this is not one course that you can take and then everything will be done for you so that's a main disadvantage of kunal kushwaha's course then next up we have apna college so apna college is one of the most requested courses a lot of people were asking me about apna college dsa course whether they should take it or not so apna college has a c++ course for data structures and algorithm 
the course is on C++. I think they also have a course in Java, but uh, it is ongoing. And this course, I think, is complete, right? So this course is in C++, and they have 226 videos. So the course is pretty much complete. So let me write complete first. And uh, the course is good. You can take it. Like it's also beginner friendly. So if you can take this course if you're a beginner. And the entire Apna College channel is very beginner friendly, which is one great thing about the channel. But the disadvantage is that the quality is not the best. Okay, so this is something I should tell you is that quality, according to me, is not up to mark. Okay, so like you have other courses, the quality is good, great. But in this, the quality is not the best that you can find. So the quality is not the best, especially when you have other good courses in comparison. So this is a course where the quality, especially for the advanced topics like recursion, etc. The quality is not up to mark. You'll have some trouble understanding their videos and it's not really the best that is out there. But like I said, it is complete. It is beginner friendly. You can definitely take it. But quality is not up to mark for, let me say, for more advanced topics. So again, for more advanced topic, you might end up getting confused or stuck for advanced topics. So again, this course, it is complete. It is beginner friendly, but I would say that it is not the best course out there. There is some lack in quality, but uh, yeah, you can still try it. You might like it, but according to me, the quality is not really the best. Then we have Code with Harry. So to be very honest, I didn't even know that Code with Harry had a DSA playlist. I only knew him for development. And let me tell you beforehand only that Code with Harry is like the goat of development. So Code with Harry has one of the best playlists on web development and other development area. And I used to follow him in college. A lot of people follow him and have benefited from his course. So Code with Harry is the like legit goat of development, especially web development. His, his web development courses are the best that you will find. But his DSA course is not the best. So his DSA course is also good. It's, there's nothing bad in it, but it's not the best that you can find. One disadvantage of his course is that he has notes in the course. Okay, so he has notes in the course and it's also in C and C++. So it's in C and C++. It comes with notes and the quality is good. There's nothing wrong with the quality, but the disadvantage is that it's not complete. Okay, so he has not covered topics like dynamic programming, recursion, backtracking. So again, this is not a course that you can rely on. You can look at his videos for certain references, but the course is not complete. And again, it's not the best out there. He has the best content on web development and development area. But for DSA, it's not the best that you can find. So Code with Harry's course you can take for certain references, but it's not complete and you cannot fully rely on it. Also, the course is in C and C++. So the one advantage which I liked was that he provided notes at the end of his videos. So that's Code with Harry for you. And I think that's pretty much it. I've covered everything that was asked for me. And uh, I've been very frank about everything. I've been very critical about everything because I don't like to sugarcoat things because I don't want you to waste your time. A lot of these other YouTubers, what they do when they review these courses, they try not to be critical. They try not to say anything wrong about the course, the bad about something bad about the course. But what I feel is that your time is valuable. So I don't want to sugarcoat anything. So based on this, you can decide which course that you can take, which course is the best suited for you. And one thing that I'm going to tell you, no matter which course you take, you're going to have to work hard on yourself and you're going to have to solve a lot of problems. So these two things you're going to have to do no matter what course you take. But these are the things that I wanted to say about each of these courses. So in nutshell, Love Bubbles course is pretty great. It's in C++. It's complete. It's beginner friendly. It's very much beginner friendly. And the disadvantage is that there's not much variety of problems. Anuj Bhaiya's course is again complete. And the disadvantage is that it is not very vast and it only focuses more on classical problems. Take You Forward has one of the best content, one of the best course. And the disadvantage is that it's not completely beginner friendly. Kunal Kushwa is again has is having great quality, but it's not at all complete. Apna College, it's complete, it's beginner friendly, it's good, but quality is not the best, especially for advanced topic. Code with Harry is the goat of development, but not for DSA. But still, you can take his course and you can definitely take a look at his notes and you can take it for revision as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I've covered everything and the video has gone on for longer than I anticipated. So if you're still having doubts, 
you can comment it on the video and i'll be sure to get back to you and you can even try some of the videos out from each of the course to see which one suits the best for you but yeah if in case there's anything let me know in the comments i'll be sure to answer thank you